In this video, I'll show you how to finesse skin tones with Chromatic from Cormelt. I'll begin by dragging the Chromatic Grade effect to this clip, then option click on the clip to move the playhead to that clip and select the clip. Now I'll bring up the floating window and add the Replace Color adjustment. Making sure the effect is selected in the inspector, I'll drag directly in the viewer on this person's face. The marks on the Source Colors color wheel show me which areas have been selected, but I can change the output using this option here to show a mask. Where the mask is white, it's selected, where it's black, it's not, and the greys between are partly selected. If I hold Shift and drag, I can add to the selection. Holding Option while dragging subtracts from the selection, but it's often easier to click while holding nothing, to reset and try again more carefully. The Tolerance slider underneath helps to expand or shrink the range of colours selected, and the mask is a good way to see if the selection is clean. With the mask looking good, I'll flick back to the result from the output menu here. I can now choose a new colour for that area by dragging in the target colour wheel. Watching the vector scope while adjusting this is a great way to make sure that skin tones are on target along this line. If the effect is too strong or looks unnatural, adjust tolerance to soften the selection, or turn the adjustment strength down by dragging on this number to the right of the adjustment name in the stack. Moving to this next clip, if you apply a stylized grade, like this LUT, you can sometimes push skin tones too far into a direction that doesn't look natural. Using Replace Colour, I can isolate just the skin tones, and then correct them back into a proper range. Chromatic includes many other adjustments, and you can pick up a free trial now from Cormelt.com. Thanks for watching.